Hi everybody, welcome back to Time Predicts. I'm another reading and I'm holding it today and I hope it doesn't shake. I'm trying it not to shake. I kind of know what the situation will be or what the reading will be. I get a lot of 11 today and I get 11, 11. I've been seeing 11, 11, 11 since yesterday, 1, 1, 1. I really think it's time to wake a wish and I think the best uh, the card uh, that I get, the first one uh, from the Wisdom of the Oracle is mending it's a seven number and seven is such a beautiful number it's um relationships mending uh between two people and you can ask whatever you want and your wish will be granted i think that's what yesterday i wrote so let's see what are the messages uh for you guys and what all i can tell you so this is the wisdom of the oracle i've got a lot of cards here and let's see what are the uh messages for you guys You've got the fates. It's fated. I'm telling you, this is fates. This is a wish. This is one, one, one. It is the fates and the wish will, um, you know, it's the wish that um, it, it will be complete. You know, number 11 is very important. So is number eight. So I really think uh, and I'm telling you today, it is all about one, one, one. It's the fates. It's um, a connection that is supposed to, uh, you know, it's it's a beautiful connection and a connection which cannot be broken and you both are supposed to be with each other. Look at this. The mending is happening. It's all about timing and the mending has started and you both are putting in effort. And look at this. You both, uh, if you see the kids, they're looking at heaven. This is almost like thanking, you know, heaven while mending the relationship. I'm telling you the relationships will be mended. 11 will be extremely important number. So you could be seeing one, 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 one and that will happen there's a fork in the road so this is a choice you've got to think what you've got to do a lot of directions will be open you can either mend you can talk or whatever you want you know this is a decision time with this card i see it's more like a decision time a fork in the road where to go i, I have a feeling that you already know where to go okay you um, your plans are there everything is there you're getting the feeling just a minute i'm just taking the um, pen and i got an orange pen and orange is beautiful bright energy for today but these cards are beautiful because this is uh, supposed to there was a fork in the road or you did decide where to go you've decided you know, you've decided that i'm going to mend it i'm going to put in my best that's another message that i get okay look at this guys you've got peace here you've got number five and this is peace so whatever decision you take will bring you peace and uh, gives me a very peaceful feeling while uh, saying this and white is another color i've been seeing uh, since yesterday and uh, I don't know what the egg really means here. I never thought about it. And it's on a beautiful uh, land, you know, green land. And I really think it's all about a new a new beginning. You know, it's like how the egg will break and how new things will come out of it. Maybe, uh, uh, you know, new ways of mending it. But whatever you do, it's peace here. You know, it's like almost the dove is bringing or the pigeon, whatever it is, sorry, <laughs> is bringing you the um, the message of peace. You know, that's. I also get maybe you uh, you're going to get a uh, message from them and uh, they could be just typing it right now it's about peace their little hearts there look at this i told you seven number is important so within seven hours or seventh may i think today is seventh may if i'm not mistaken or tomorrow is seventh may i'm sorry guys if i've got the dates wrong i really think uh, uh i i think seventh is tomorrow and uh, so seven is really important we've got uh, two sevens here okay and we've got a five and uh, what beautiful cards guys we've got a four eight we've got a lot of numbers here but i definitely feel to the series. remember i said they're going to give you a message or send you a message so they're already typing a message and you're waiting for the message and there's a deep knowing that uh you know it's it's peaceful right now i mean the way it is going look at the sea it's so calm and right now when i'm talking to you i get a very calm feeling i get white calmness peace this is this is a relationship that's on its way uh, uh, to mend and look at this i mean nothing can be more beautiful than the uh, fates card you know let's see what are the other messages sorry for this shaking but you know i love giving messages remember i said deep knowing and i knew this card will come out and it's a seven number guys you've got three sevens look at this deep knowing you know that they are coming towards you my god what a beautiful uh, reading and i knew this card would come out and it did come out and there's a deep knowing of things actually going the right way you've got the owl there which means wise this is peaceful look at the sleep you know you'll get the message and you'll sleep peacefully maybe you your sleep wasn't really good but much much more peaceful uh, times ahead look at this you've got a leg up guys can you 
just imagine this this is all in front of you you've got another seven you've got four sevens there okay so this is almost like a wish this is lucky you you know four sevens from the same pile my god what else do you want and look at this you've got a gift coming up maybe it's a gift of love peace you know exchanging gifts would just not you know it doesn't mean like really giving gifts to each other it means peace and uh exchanging messages you know with each other like i said i don't know why but i get a message that will make you more peaceful and happy and look at this every card is almost a seven number okay and that's so beautiful every card is a seven number let's see what are the messages here wow you've got soulmate energy no wonder you've got mending and it's the fates now i know why the fates came out because this is uh, the soulmate card and uh, you remember I said this is a connection that cannot be broken no matter what and if you wanted a confirmation from the universe this is actually your soulmate let's see what the energy cards are saying guys I'm telling you this is one 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 feeling today it's like almost wish granted you wanted peace in the relationship and it did come you were all tied up okay you were all tied up but you know that you've got to set yourself free just get set yourself free and make the choice maybe a choice to talk to them maybe a choice to get peace in the relationship actually it's all about peace i told you it's white light and look at this this is just white light here number four and it's the six chakra with archangel metatron this is this is just knowing what to do look at this the intuition the third eye in fact i see the third eye more active here and this is white light and knowing that you have to you know um um, have have peace in the relationship no confrontations no uh, fighting over you know petty issues that's another thing that i get see there's a decision i think there was a decision about leaving or you had already made a decision when they suddenly change you know things change for you and look at the peacefulness in this also so you know for this um, card i almost get that you are not going to go to the other side which means you're going to stay in in this place and make the whole relationship more beautiful you know it's like um, it's true that grass is green on the other side but it's sometimes an illusion also in this one it seems like you're not going to jump the gate you are where you are you feeling happy so you're going to wait for someone i think your decision here is you're going to wait for someone and i think you're just going to get the message and when i said that i actually add there was if uh, the if you would see the counter it actually was 11 you know it added to a 11 which means you're going to wait for them see there's another waiting energy you're thinking i think you were thinking hard what to do and there's a butterfly here there's transformation there's wish also okay and here it is 11 number 7 plus 4 is 11 you were thinking what to do and that's the time they will come towards you exactly at 11 whatever problems there were in your relationship i think they were the storms you know it's not coming towards it's going away this is what i see today it's almost going away you know it's it's done with the situation and i think you've got to think about how peaceful will it get is more important look at this emotions hide you've got another seven number you could be dealing with a water sign you could be a water sign i'm seeing a, seeing a lot of water here right now but you've got emotions you've got you've got the right amount of emotions or you know to deal with the situation it's not that you're getting too emotional and you do not know if you're making much of an emotional decision from the heart or from the mind but uh, definitely uh, this is a very thought through decision and you know you want to mend it you know you want to mend it with them i think it's very thought through guys and which is brilliant this is the emperor the emperor uh, misses the family the emperor wants to be with the you know wants to have children wants to uh, be around you uh, look at the emperor looking at the kids so there's a softer side to the person you are dealing with i feel even if they show you know that they can't be messed with that they don't show they're emotional but i really feel they have an emotional side look at this you've got victory six of wands somebody coming with uh, coming towards you this is so much of a sign of a victory already traveling the message or the peace the peaceful message i think the <laughs> resolution is going to happen pretty much soon i get to within seven hours or seven days i'm getting seven a lot and actually then when i said seven a lot this is the card i have in my hand you got seven of swords and they're going to look back they went away but they're going to look back they're turning back i feel uh the person you are dealing with is turning back and uh 
has also somewhere thought through this whole thing relationship they would have wanted to leave or break but they could not so they are going to uh, move towards you is what i get because you've got seven of cups energy you know they want to be uh, with you you also can rescue this situation it's not that it's you cannot you've got a sword here that's just right next to you so you can also get up and uh, don't fight the battle but you can get up you know it's not such a messy affair and you can uh, get up and do something about it okay that's another thing i feel i mean you've been feeling burdened you've been feeling too many burdens of the fight also that when you guys fought and you also said a lot of things and you carrying that burden and feeling bad also and this is the sun this came out twice and this is 10 plus one that's 11 guys this is so beautiful let's just end it with this because this is 11 number it's the sun it's a new beginning and uh, this is them turning towards you this is peaceful and uh, let's see the zodiac signs i'm going to take out five zodiac signs okay you've got scorpio here you've got a leo so also feel scorpio and leo very powerful signs but with a soft heart turning like i said oh you've got the mercury card which is communication in fact i was trying to take the zodiac sign out but maybe this had to be this <laughs> did belong in this reading and that came out in fact i was not trying to take the uh, planet cards and uh, mercury is communication see how you think communicate right talk and travel is very important how you talk to them you know how you communicate what you communicate okay maybe the communication was a problem so you've got a Virgo, you've got Capricorn, in fact a lot of earth energy, okay, and you've got Libra. So those are five ones, it doesn't matter if your card is not there, their card is not there, or their sign. Like I always say, it doesn't really matter, if it resonates, it's brilliant. Let's see another card that wants to come out, the planet card, you've got Sharon. You've got your healing power, empathy and ability to teach or learn remedies maybe you are a teacher some sort or maybe they are a teacher maybe this whole episode taught you something you also have healing powers like you know how to motivate or inspire others maybe that's a person you are dealing with could be like that so let's see i don't know why i can't close the reading you know yesterday i was watching somebody else like another reader and uh, she's also more like a, a clairvoyant which i like and uh, she was like, I cannot close the reading. I mean, because I used to say that I, I don't think this is the uh, last uh, card because you know when's the last card, you know. And I think this is the last card. That's why I could not close the reading because seven number had to come out again, guys. I think this is beautiful. This is the fifth time seven number has come out. And let me read out the card. This area of your life is about to uh, is about long term significant partners, romantic business or family. So whatever associations you are going to make, this is long term. This is a soul connection. No wonder I could not close the reading, and uh, this card had to had to had to come out because this is about commitment, either romantic business or family. All the long term commitments. It is a long term commitment because you had a soulmate card. Remember, and I said these connections are not easy to break because these are soulmate connections. They are fated guys remember where we started and this is how we end <laughs> we started on a beautiful note we ending on a beautiful note and have a beautiful beautiful times on a saturday and i'll be back with another reading do like my channel do subscribe and like i always say do comment do i read all the comments lots of love guys bye